Welcome to Techie V channel, your solution providers. My name is Shubham and today we will see how to create a plastic casting in NX10. So let's begin. First, open a new part file using the default modeling template. First, we will create a basic sketch for our plastic casting. For this, go to curve tab, select sketch and pick any one plane. So, I will create a rectangle first. You do not need to set the dimensions just right now. Make a rectangle of any dimension and then create a circle in its center. Next, we will try to constrain this sketch. So, click on this line and make it vertical. As you can see, now this line is perfectly vertical and as we have used the rectangle command, all the other lines are automatically constrained. Now, let's set the dimensions. Make this dimension as 100 mm and this one as 80 mm. Set the diameter of circle as 30 mm. Now our basic sketch is ready. Click on finish sketch to exit out of the sketcher environment. Next, we will extrude this sketch using the extrude command. So go under home tab and select extrude. Shortcut for extrude command is X. So you can directly press X on your keyboard and it will open the extrude dialog box. Now select the curve and set the distance as 30 mm and click OK. Again open the extrude command and select this circle. But this time set the boolean operation to subtract and make sure that the select body is on and the outer body is selected. Again set the distance to 30 mm and click OK. So our basic model is ready. Now we will go for some detailing. For this select sketch and then pick the YZ plane and click OK. Here we will create an arc which will be starting from this point and will end somewhere here. Make sure that the tangent constraint is set between the arc and this vertical line. If you are having problem, press C. It will open the geometric constraint. Here, you will find the tangent constraint. Select it, then select the arc and then select the vertical line and then click close. Now, you have arc which is tangent to this vertical line. Double click on this radius and set it to 40 mm. Click close. Next, click on finish sketch and then again click on extrude. Now we will select the last sketch that we have made. For this, go to part navigator and select sketch 4. Set the start as symmetric value and put the distance as 40 mm. Anything above 40 mm will do. Make sure that the boolean operation is set to none and click OK. As you can see, a curved plane has been created in between this body. Now we have to trim this part and then delete this plane. For this, select the trim body command and select the target as our main body. Then under tool, click select face and plane and then select the curved plane that we have created. So as you can see, it has trimmed the upper portion. If you are facing problem, try changing this direction by double clicking on this arrow. Make sure that the arrow is pointing outwards and then click OK. As you can see, now we are having a curved surface here. Right click on this plane and select hide. Next, 
we will try blending these edges so click on edge blend and then select this edge expand this variable radius point and then click on specify new location zoom in and then select this point this will be our first point next select the other end and then the center point double click on this radius 1 and set its value to 5 next set the radius of second point as 5 mm and at last set the radius of this middle point as say 10 mm as you can see it has created a variable radius blend you can play around and have a desired effect you click ok again select this edge blend command and this time blend all these edges you can have whatever radius you want for this blend then click ok as you can see we have created a solid model now we will try to make it hollow so that it looks like a plastic casing for this we will use the cell command so click the bottom face and set the thickness to 2 mm if you want you can set an alternate thickness for some of the features for example if I click on select face and then select this circular portion I can change its thickness I can set it to 6 mm as you can see the thickness of this portion has changed then click ok next we will try to reduce this extrude for this go to more and then select offset face select this face and drag this inwards set any offset desired and then click ok so now we have our plastic casing ready so this is pretty much the tutorial next I will show you how to make this model appear more realistic for this first click on the sketches and select hide after you have hidden all the sketches head on to render tab and then select true shading as you can see true shading creates a more realistic view of our model here you can turn on the show floor grid you can turn on or off the reflection or the shadow you can as well select the material for your model whichever material you like or else you can go to advanced studio in advanced studio you can set some background for this model for example if you click on this scene editor you can choose from various scenes for example if I choose this as you can see our model is placed on this floor and it looks much more realistic so these advanced capabilities of NX10 helps us to visualize how our model will look in real world scenario. So this ends our tutorial on how to create a plastic casting in NX10. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more latest videos.